Hi Practicum, we've got week 13 upon us, so let's take a look at the schedule. Monday to Tuesday we have Badger Elementary School that will be here uh, from Appleton, uh, just 36 students, 6th uh, graders, and Linda and Jordan and I and Shana will be doing most of the teaching during the day, uh, but Jake is coming out with uh, Zach and Olivia for the evening program, so Jake you'll just want to um, start talking about what might happen for the campfire on D2L on the, under the evening program discussion board and talk to Zach and Olivia about driving out together um, so that you're here for dinner and the evening program. What I The Lumberjack Louie program is sort of like a PowerPoint with facts about the Lumberjacks and you can kind of dress up for that which uh, is really fun but I think to make it a little bit more entertaining we'll have some of the Lumberjack Olympics activities go on on Walker Lawn, on Walker Lawn before the campfire begins that evening. So that's the major plan for that evening uh, program. And then on Tuesday they will be here and we'll also have an Amherst group uh, the kindergartners coming out. So some of you are going to be working with um, Badger and teaching them programs. Uh, Scott's going to do the nature study with the charter school and we'll have the kindergartners coming out for the day. It looks like Sarah S., Mark, and Olivia are mostly going to be working with them with those lessons. Uh, if you're not teaching during parts of that day, we're also going to be having the Sawyers out um, doing some more milling of the wood that's over by the charter school, so we may need some assistance in stacking lumber out there when you're not teaching. Then on Wednesday, we have Amherst kindergartners coming out, uh, more of them, different students, 28 of them this time, and they'll be going through the programs that Sarah S., Mark, and Olivia are teaching, and Sydney, Brianna, and Zach are going to be working with the uh, charter school. They have a field trip, at on-site field trip, where we're going to be taking them over to Minister Lake. I'll have some more details for you on that, followed by a nature study by Sydney and Brianna with the kindergartner pre-K, and Zach with the first and second graders. So that'll be a busy day as well, and there may be some opportunities for, after your field trip and nature study, to help the Sawyers with the final um, lumber that's going on over by the um, classrooms, and that lumber is all going to be used for future buildings that are out here. So. They're going to need a lot of hands for that on Wednesday, too. On Thursday, we have Newman Catholic Elementary Schools coming out for an extended day program. So you can see there's group initiatives going on, and then they're going through three different lessons throughout the day. And then the evening program is led by Scott with Ashley, and then Amanda and Brandon are also assisting with that. It's a bat program with a campfire afterward. So you can see we're taking two vehicles out that day, and some of you are staying, some of you are going. Um, Friday then we have St. Paul Catholic School, very small, only 6th, 3rd through 6th graders. So it's a really small group, bag lunch day. Shana's going to start the day out with forest inventory, then Jake's going to do skullduggery lesson, and then Jordan's going to wrap it up with herpetology, and then there'll be a trading post before they depart. Uh, one of the things I mentioned for next week is that you are not going to be responsible for lesson preps. You do not have to turn in a lesson prep. You've been by week 13, I think you should be ready to just prepare the lessons on your own and in your own best way. So what I'm asking is that instead you do a reflection piece on on your teaching after you're done teaching. So normally I'd have you do it right away. Um, it's probably best to do it the day after you teach, but uh, the deadline will be April 27th and you can put it by noon. You can put it in my Dropbox. So I want you to do a reflection that's at least one page and I want you to answer questions like how did I meet the age level that I was teaching? Was the content age appropriate? When did I have a great teaching moment? Provide an example. And when was the weakest moment in my teaching? And provide an example of that. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing for week 13. Now on your nature study themes, Tuesday Scott's going to be working with a third through fifth grade classroom. So I want you to focus on dichotomous keys, how you use those. Maybe you can bring some over some pro pond creatures from over at Minister Lake and they can start that process so they can, they can learn some of the organisms and they can learn how to use a dichotomous key. And then on Wednesday, the whole school is going to be going out to Minister Lake. So Sydney, Brianna, and Zach will be working with them from 8.30 to 11 a.m. Oh, and I probably may have made one mistake on the schedule here for Wednesday. Um, no, if we meet out here at 8 o'clock, that'll be just fine. So no mistake. Let's go back to the day itself. Um... Each one of you are going to be assigned to a classroom. So Sydney, pre-K, Zach, 
um, first, second grade, Brianna, third through fifth. You'll go over, meet the classroom at 8.30, and then lead them over to Minister Lake, making sure to do a bathroom break first. And then this is kind of the schedule of how things are going to go. Uh, and you'll be working mainly with that group that you've been assigned. So you should prepare to, uh, if you're doing pre-K kindergarten, to take them over to the Beaver Lodge and share some Beaver facts for a little bit. Then they're going to come back to the dock for a snack. And then they are going to go through some of the pond muck um, and look for some creatures. The first and second graders are going to walk to the other side of Minister Lake, explore, um, looking under the cover board, search for salamanders, then they'll come back for a snack, and then they will do some of the um, Beaver Lodge information. So, Zach, that's what you should prepare for. And the third through fifth graders are going to start with pond study. So, Brianna, I want you to look at that lesson and make sure that you're comfortable with identifying macroinvertebrates and the process, the safety pro processes for using the D-nets, collecting, and I'll be out there to help as well. And then they will have a snack, and then they're going to go over to Minister Lake uh, side and do some exploring under the cover board, searching for salamanders. When the when it come, becomes at a, by 11 o'clock, the third through fifth graders need to go back for their, another lesson, and Sydney and Brianna will be doing a nature study with the pre-K kindergartners. So you'll just stay out there, and then you'll walk slowly back, stop at the frog pond, listen for sounds of spring. We have some identifiers you can use to play the different frog calls, and then if you guys can come up with some sort of a maybe a coloring activity that they could do in the classroom when they return. Zach, you're also going to stay out there with the first and second graders, but then you're going to get your hands wet and use the pond equipment that we already have out there for them to do some searching and collecting and identifying macroinvertebrates that are out at the pond. Even though you're not doing a lesson prep for next week, um, I encourage you to use myself, use Jordan, use Shana for any ideas, concerns you might have, questions you might have, and planning. Um, to make the day go smooth, whether you're teaching or whether you're doing the field trip. And uh, just let me know if you have any questions or concerns. But uh, it should be a very fun week and should be interesting to see a different, um, see some different responses after you do your reflections upon teaching. Let me know if you have any um, other questions. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thanks.